And 10 days later, we get a call from the US DNA lab. Uh, these people are searching us out, and it's really interesting. You know, this is Dr. So so from the, from the uh, US DNA lab. And just thought you might find it interesting. I don't, I'm not a Bible believer, don't believe in the story of Noah's flood. However, we trace the DNA of horses. And the oldest, DNA, the oldest horses in the world come from that same area in northern Iran where you found that ship. So they must have come off the ark. Wait a minute, we're getting ready to say it here. Although, now tell me the, uh, uh, about what you told me earlier before we went on, because I think this is interesting. You go to public schools and you make this presentation and you can do it because of the way you present all this. Well, obviously we cannot make a claim we have Noah's Ark. Right. We don't know. We have scientific proof that we found an enormous petrified ship at 13,100 feet that has DNA from animals from all over the world. So when I give the talk, I say, let me give you the evidence that we have, and then you decide which ship it is. Hmm. That way, I'm not making a religious talk. It's a scientific talk. And school systems, even in the U.S., have allowed me to come and speak in the U.S. and the school systems because it's not a religious talk. Amazing. <laughs> well, you're listening to Arch Bonima, a, a world traveler. He has uh, seen some fascinating things in his day. And uh, Arch, let's go on and talk about uh, more about your experience. Now you're up there, you're collecting these samples. You, you, you told me that you actually saw what Noah must have seen. And this is an interesting story to me because the Bible talks about the waters receding and yes. Noah witnessed a particular phenomenon. In Genesis 8 verse 5 it says, as the waters receded, the tops of the mountains all came into view. We've already discussed in Mount Ararat in Turkey, there aren't any. Yes. As we climbed the mountain, we went through a snowstorm going up the mountain. As we were setting up our camp, as the clouds started going down. Now, if you've ever flown in a jet where all the clouds are even, they're level, they're not, you know, cumulus piled up, but they're just level, that's what the flood would look like. As the clouds went down the mountain, tops of other mountains all came to view. In fact, from that mountain, there are 16 peaks over 14,000 feet that can be seen from Mount Solomon the mountains, plural, of Ararat. And folks, let me just take a moment here to say that's why it's important to believe that uh, the Bible is the divinely inspired Word of God, because the little s on the end of a word makes all the difference. A mountain is different from mountains, plural. And the Bible says that the mountains appeared to Noah. And as I, I can just picture this in my mind, as, as the cloud receded, you could see first one peak and then another and then two more. And it must have been phenomenal. And we all commented about the same time <laughs> as we're watching this. Really? Look at out here. Look what's happening. This must be what Noah saw. Amazing. And I think God provided it for us <laughs> to see that. <laughs> That's amazing. Now, what else would you like to tell us? Uh, uh, to me, a, a, a barnacle, a saltwater barnacle in a petrified wreck at 13,000 feet is fairly convincing. What else did you see that really struck you? The pitch, uh, the, uh, this material that you brought back, did you find any metal artifacts or anything that looked man-made? Well, the whole building, I mean the whole ship looked man-made. I also want to say that we do not believe that Noah's Ark had a V-bottom or a V-bow because the only purpose of a V-bow and a V-bottom is to travel fast. Mm -hmm. If you're carrying a lot of weight, you build it more in the shape of a barge. You know, the Bible's statistics, it would make the ark approximately 450 feet long, approximately 75 feet wide, and approximately 45 feet high. And if it was in barge shape, it would easily hold all the animals mentioned in the Bible. Uh, it was no longer in that shape today. According to the Sherpa, it went to ground at about 15,000 feet because that's where he saw it in the 19, uh, 50 years ago. He had seen it at 15,000 wow. 15, feet. And that's where three of our guys went up the mountain and that's where they found the altar. Now because the ark is on a landslide, as it slid down the mountain, and we believe this happened in the year 2000, there was an enormous earthquake there, killed 64,000 people in that region. And there's an enormous earthquake and as it slid down the mountain, it hit solid rock and started piling up on top of each other. So today it looks like an enormous pile of debris, all those huge sections of wall, huge sections of, you know, obviously man-made. You can yes. look at the pictures on a DVD. Yeah. It was a man-made structure, but today it's all collapsed. 
And I think God wants to keep a little mystique in this. Uh, just enough for believers, but not enough to be a spectacle. Yeah, however, even non-believers. Uh, recently I was in Dubai, and I was coming through the Dubai airport, and there was an English-speaking magazine, uh, uh, newspaper there, and on the front page of it was a big article, we have just found the great Muslim prophet Noah's ship. Guess where? Same place we found this one. Wow. Only now it wasn't the biblical Noah's Ark, it was the Muslims Muslim Noah's Ark. Noah's Ark, how about so that? So they believe that it is Noah's Ark <laughs> also, just that Noah's Muslim. Now, Arch, you've made some DVDs. Tell us a little about these. What's on them? Uh, we're going to make these available to you. Uh, and by the way, uh, I think you'll be interested. Tell us what's on the DVD. Well, we have a lot more scientific um, studies from it, evidence. We described the whole trip, what the climb was like. For example, leave our base camp, it's 99 degrees Fahrenheit, and we get up to cross the 12,000 foot to build up a summer camp. It's snowing crazy, and it's minus 20 Celsius and how extraordinarily difficult the climb was. That's a very interesting one. We also have a lot more evidence, as I mentioned, that they talk a lot more pictures. Uh, it's interesting because I've given these talks everywhere, in all kinds of settings, some secular, some Christian, some little, all settings. And the most common comment I get afterwards when people come to look at the artifacts is they say, wow, this proves the Bible's true. Even when you're in church, you know, with church people come forward. Yeah. Wow, this means the Bible is true. Now, you've given these DVDs away. Yes. By, you, you, you haven't copyrighted them. Uh, it, by the way, if you get one of these, you're free to make as many copies of it as, as you want and pass it out to your friends, right? My goal is not to make money off of Noah's Ark. My goal is to get the story out. The story of Noah's Ark is one of the three most recognized stories any place in the world. Yeah. What is a Bible story? One of the first three to come up is Noah's Ark. And it's a tremendous faith builder. Anybody who wants to make copies of them, they're welcome to it. Essentially, do we have uh, uh, different DVDs? or? Well, the first one is the story of Noah's Ark. Yes. However, the second one is the story of the other ark. The, the other ark, of the, ark. Yeah. Oh. Eight months after the first trip, Axum Ethiopia has claimed to, for 2,700 years to have the Ark of the Covenant. We made a trip there to look at the evidence that they had. Arch, we're going to talk to you again. In fact, we're going to make a whole new broadcast with Arch about the ancient Ark of the Covenant. Gary Stearman, Prophecy in the News. Hope you enjoyed today's program, Arch. Thanks. Prophecy in the News is a viewer-supported ministry sponsored by our many friends across America and in your area. For your gift of $10, you can receive a special edition of our current program on an audio CD, or for a gift of $20, we'll send you our programs on DVD videos. For either order, call the 800 number on your screen right now.